hi and welcome back to another video here at Asebu. so an update on the building project we haven't done here at the Asebu pan-african village so the foundation has been filled with gravels as you can see just to my right side over here and you can tell that this is proper gravels or latrite so this is uh going to be soaked with water for some time we've been fortunate to have had some rains i think a couple of days over here so that has helped a bit but we will also be soaking it with some more water and then after that uh, the this thing is going to be compact with the compacting machine or the ramping machine so after that is done then we'll eventually do the surface concrete or before even the concrete we we'll have to sp spread the, the improved membrane as well on top over the entire foundation and then we go ahead to you know um, have some concrete work done on it and then after that dries we begin blocking up uh yeah so let me just climb this and we take a look at it so let me just flip over the camera so as you can see now the filling was done a little bit above the level of the foundation so you can tell so the reason is because um once the the compactant is done this is going to go down a little bit even before then once we soak it we begin soaking it with some water and it's going to go down a bit and uh, we do the compacting so that you know it gets to a point where it's okay once you feel that it's well compact then we go ahead to do the concrete works on it so yeah i'm currently in the living area and that is the master bedroom we have the porch to my right over here then there's a corridor over here there's a bedroom here the shared washroom and then another bedroom over there. and then you have the kitchen you have a small storeroom and then you have a corridor or that is a porch at the back as well then you also have utility room over here and then a master bedroom um, washroom which is in suit so basically that is an update on what has been done so far i think it took them about um three days of i think four days to fill the entire uh, foundation and we used about five trips of laterite or gravels yes and that was the size of the truck was uh, 20 cubic so we used five um trips of that to you know get to this particular level we're fortunate to have had just a few of the distant um the gravels left over there there's some here there's some here now that is going to be useful because once this is soaked with water and then the compacting is being done um it is going to settle so there are some points that will need a little bit of you know more filling and then after that uh we go to the concrete work so yeah that's basically what has been done um now at this particular point it is very important not to rush the process uh you have to allow it to settle a little bit else you might finish your concrete works and then you with some time you notice that some part of your concrete is beginning to sink in because it is then that you know, it is beginning to settle properly so that's how come we've left this for like over a week now just to you know allow the rain do its thing and we've been blessed with some rain so far so let's see how that is going to go from here and then once the ramping is going to be done i'll share that with you as well so as I spoke about the use of the damp proof paint, if you take a good look at this, you notice know, that at the bottom part, um, you know, matches exactly where the soil is being used to cover it. So we painted that but to the bottom before the soil uh, was, you know, um, pushed towards the foundation work. So that is it. You can see the black paint. That is the damp proof paint. You can see it all over and then uh, this point is going to be collected a bit so that you, you have that much and that yeah so when you even look beyond this you see that there so so that's it and then it goes all the way throughout the entire house so that will be just about it for now thank you very much for watching in case you are new to this channel kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it so i'll see you in the next one